Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to say is that this video is just me trying out new makeup. It's not a lot of products, but it's just some of the products that I just bought um, out of my pocket that I just want to have been wanting to try. Um, it's not like new makeup that just came out. It's just new makeup to me. So I am going to do this eyeshadow look that I did right here. It's just like a half cut crease with um, some pink and yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in for the eyeshadow part. So for the eyeshadow, I am using like three palettes. Um, the first one that I'm going to be using is this Morphe palette. And the shade that I'm taking for my eyes to start off will be this shade right here. A Morphe E27 that looks like this. And I'm putting that all over my crease. Okay. You just want to make sure that you are going back and forth, making sure you get making sure you get it all over your lid. And also, let me give you guys another tip. Um, when I like to do my eyeshadow, I like to like kind of like look up instead of just looking straight into the mirror. Because if you look up, like you know exactly where your crease is and like where to stop. Okay, so now that it looks like that, I am going to go ahead and take um, this Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I am gonna be taking this. I'm gonna be taking this brown shade right here. motions but just doing it a little bit lower than that light brown i don't know if you guys could see on this i don't know if you guys could see on this eye but it's the light brown and the dark brown that's where i'm applying that darker brown just on the bottom of the lighter brown almost making it like a gradient effect just so your eyeshadow can just look a bit more popping Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and take this pink shade right here. And following up, I'm going to take that yellow shade. Okay, so it should look like this right now now i'm gonna go ahead and go into my morphe palette and this is the 35e palette okay and now i'm gonna go ahead and take this yellow shade right here and i'm gonna go ahead and grab my spray and just spritz it one time does good so i'll just go ahead and lay that on top of the yellow i mean on top of the pink and the yellow Okay, so it should look like that for right now. Going in with that dark brown again on the same brush. I'm going to go ahead and blend 
away. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and added my um, eyelashes and I also added some pink in a corner. I just really wanted some pink. But now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. But before I prime, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this um, Mario Badescu facial spray. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Professional. And I am just putting this on my teeth. And with the Hangover by Too Faced primer. And I'm going with two pumps. me better okay so i previously got this foundation but i felt like it was too dark i mean too light for me so i wanted to try it again and um i just got it in a darker shade because i had a uh, buff beige and i just got it in golden beige so let's see how this works because i love the foundation like it worked really good but I just couldn't really like really give it like I just really couldn't like it 100 percent because of my shade so let's just see how this turned out okay and I'm going in with the morphe sponge this is actually one of the things that i'm also trying i heard a lot of good things about it so when you are blending your foundation with a sponge you do want to make sure you're tapping it in and not like swiping it okay now for concealer i'm gonna go in with a oldie that I fell in love with when I first used it and it is the Maybelline New York uh, concealer the Maybelline fit me concealer actually okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my eyes Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and I'm gonna be using that ash bun powder. I'm not setting it for too long just because I am kind of in a hurry so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the Park Avenue um, contouring palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here For blush, I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the Wet n Wild blush. Now 
now that the all the powders are done i am gonna go ahead and spray my face with the mario badescu i am gonna go ahead and quickly do my under eye and i'll be right back okay guys so i quickly went ahead and smoked out my lower lash line and also added um some bottom mascara so for a highlight, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the same Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm going to be taking Glow Getter. So for lips today, I am going to go ahead and take this Maybelline Superstay Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Seductress. Seductress. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... Now for the last part of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the new, it's not the new, it's my new, my new uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray that looks like this. So, you guys, this feels really good. Like, it just refreshes you. It feels like... So good. Okay, let me just fix my pelitos. Okay, you guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I decided to just go ahead and do some pop of color because I haven't done that on my channel yet. And that's really what I love doing, like color, colorful, colorful looks. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.